Hi everyone, I'm uh, Mohammed Solomon and I'm a stop motion animator and I use stop motion technique to create animation videos using puppets, uh, objects and anything really that I can use to move it and just to create something out of it. And uh, I have worked on a uh, couple of short films, advertisements and series uh, such as uh, Sean the Sheep, uh, Les Kiwis in France, a um, couple of things that I've done myself and advertisements or items uh, for Tiki Max and HomeSense. So for uh, the tools that I use, I start with the Dragon Frame software where we use it to take a photo and then move the object and then we start to compare the movement with the previous photo, the photo that we're about to take with the previous photo that we took and uh, we use that for the laptop or we use stu stop motion studio app for uh, the mobile or the ipad and uh, we always use a camera so in case if we're using the ipad we just use the camera of the ipad or the iphone and uh, in case if we're using dragon frame we can still use ipad but in that case i use a dslr camera and of course we can use disc clamps like the ones that we have here and a puppet and the set where all the action takes place or it can just be a plain uh, colorama with a certain color and then the object that you would like to animate so as you can see here this is the interface of dragon frame the software that we use to animate uh, i will start by animating this cup and i will make it move from here to here it's gonna start slow and then increases the speed and then it slows down until it stops here. And uh, for the animation, there is 12 principles of animation. It's all about like something that moves, is moving slow and then it increases the speed and then it slows down again. Arcs and a lot more. Uh, I will put them down in the PDF for you to take a look. And uh, yeah, like today we're just gonna do something simple with that which is the cup and it just make it move on this line so what I'm gonna do is start by taking a photo and then I want to show you something which is here is the tool which is onion skin and it allows you as you can see to get uh, the live view which is right now mixed with the previous photo so for example if I put my hand on top of the glass you see my hand but you still see the glass which is this the glass that you can see right now is from the previous photo so if I move my cup a little bit and just a little bit more as you can see here there's this shadow or ghosting of the cup. Uh, I'm sorry, like if uh, if the terminology is not correct, but you can, as you can see here, there is just like the cup, the previous photo, and that's like me. That this is me knowing that I have moved the cup this amount, and this is a pretty small amount, which uh, which means if the photos I take. Of the object when it's moving it's very small increments it's gonna move slow and if I increase the increments it's gonna move fast so let's see that I'm gonna take another photo and of course uh, while I'm animating I'll just continue to talk about things regarding stop-motion so for example if you want to learn more or tips on how to get started I would recommend that you start uh, by a simple simple app which is a stop motion app uh, sorry stop motion studio app and that one you can use to uh, do exactly the same as we're doing here you use the onion uh, skin to be able to see the previous photo of course uh, in dragon frame as you can see I can go back and forth to see the object moving which is a lot better but still for like you can just work with the onion skin and you can do very very beautiful animation so I'm just gonna increase the speed right now 
as you can see I have now increased the distance and there is like a lot of books about books about animation which I will also leave the name of these books that I have uh, for you to look up and to buy and to read if you're interested like to get into stop motion but I would just recommend to, to start how I started which is literally just bring some a bit of clay put the phone in front of the this piece of clay on a tripod of course make sure the tripod is stable and then you can just start to animate and it doesn't take much like of an effort and it's really really amazing uh, like I love to animate it's sort of meditation to me and there is uh, <laughs> I'm sorry there is no like shortcuts when it comes to how to get better fast it's only about practice it's all about practice and muscle memory the more you animate the faster you, the faster you the better you're gonna get and the faster well, uh, and also faster <laughs> sorry but yeah it's just all about keeping uh, keep up like and practice all the time until yeah sorry I just got distracted right here while I'm trying to animate but it's just all about animating every day as much as you can and by the end you're just gonna suddenly everything is gonna make sense and I would recommend like trying to practice the 12 principles because these are the most important things if you if you do master these principles animation is gonna be your animation is gonna be amazing because it's all about these principles actually and uh, yeah the last thing <laughs> this is like a bit more advanced uh, well it's not advanced it's more of yeah well intermediate all you need to do is just read about if you go into if you dig deeper into stop motion you should check out what does it mean to animate on ones and on twos and this also it's it's explained in uh, the richard williams book which is animators toolkit and uh, yes that's like animation in a simple way <laughs> sorry so I just keep getting distracted with the animation here it's not perfect to be honest with you like I didn't do it very well but I hope it kind of explains what I did as you can see here the distance when the cup moves fast is just too big like one photo of the cup is here and the other photo of the cup is there and as you can see when the cup moves slow the photos are next to each other okay I will just adjust something here this is a bit more not very advanced but at the start when you start to learn about animation you're gonna understand like how to work with the uh, frame per second when it comes to animation and ones and twos as, as I said before just gonna as you can see cup moves fast and then slow and that's it I will leave on in the PDF like some tips and anything that I just any if I missed anything I'll just leave a tip or I will leave the details regarding how to work with stop motion links to some videos about animation that I uh, that, that is online and I think it will help you and please if you have any question at all like if you have any question regarding stop motion or animation feel free like to write leave a comment or even just send me a message I will leave also the link to my pages in case if you want to send me any message and that's that's it <laughs> thank you